Hi guys, welcome to Life Matters. My name is Carlos Alazar. Today I'll be talking about trans fats. And unless you have been living under a rock inside a cave on the moon for the last 30 years, you'll probably know by now that trans fats are bad for you and they cause heart disease and whatnot. What I want to bring to your attention today is the way trans fats are allowed to be marketed to in our day society, alright? We've come to a point of time where zero trans fat do not mean necessarily zero trans fat, alright? I'll be explaining what exactly I mean by that in a few minutes, just need to explain you first, just in case you don't know, what a trans fat is. Trans fats were invented by the grocery manufacturers in the 1950s uh, as a way of appealing our natural cravings for fatty foods. The problem is that there's nothing natural in trans fats, alright? Picture a bottle of oil, vegetable oil, and a stick of margarine, okay? At room temperature, the vegetable oil is liquid, and the margarine is solid, alright? Now, if you bake cookies using vegetable oil, they'll be pretty greasy, and nobody would want to eat a cookie that is swimming in oil. So, to create cookies, waffles, donuts, pizza, pies, muffins, etc., many other things as well, the manufacturers heat the oil and infuse it with hydrogen and then the hydrogen is going to bind and combine with the oil forming a new form of fat which is what we call the trans fat which is solid at room temperature and trans fat has really remarkable properties for the manufacturers in the way that it doesn't go rancid as easily as the oils it has a good taste, it has a good texture it's easy to store, it's easy to ship and handle the problem is as this fat they do not exist in nature, they're man-made the human body has a hard time processing them it, the human body just doesn't know what to do with them. If you look at the chemical structure or into, in the microscope and you look at the trans fats, you will see they're more similar to plastics than food. Once consumed, the trans fats are free to do any amount of damage in your body. They will rise your bad cholesterol, they will lower your good cholesterol, they will bring up your lipoproteins, they will increase your triglyceride levels, they will clog your arteries, they will cause heart disease and they will link to diabetes and cancer, and that's just the beginning of the list. Why throw away your life so recklessly? There is no safe amount of trans fat that you should be eating. The body cannot process it, so it means that you should be eating zero grams. Each and every gram of trans fat that you eat is a gram that is going to be causing problems. But if they're so bad for you, how come there are many, many products around you? Well, the answer is very simple and it's very sad. It's because marketers, they love it. It's cheap, it's tasty, it's uh, easy to carry around, it's easy to store, it increases the shelf life, it's cheap, etc. It has absolutely no healthy value, in fact it's really bad for you, but hey, that's not what they care about. Trans fats appear usually as partially hydrogenated oils, and they usually got them from cottonseed oil, which is crap, soybean oil, canola oil, which is not good either, it's also from vegetable oils, palm oils, etc. If you want, pause the video and go to your fridge, to your pantry, and you'll be surprised how many foods include them. Check the crackers, popcorn, cookies, those fish sticks, uh, cheese spreads, candy bars, even foods that many people assume as healthy, such as, you know, bran muffins, uh, cereals, and non dairy creamers. They're often loaded with trans fats. This is why I insist, guys, you should read your labels, alright? Get into that habit. If you see partially hydrogenated oil in anything you want to buy, avoid it. Find a replace. It's not good for you. That's a question you should ask yourself. Other massive source of trans fat is the fried foods, and you have to avoid them like the plague because, as I said, trans fats are cheap and they spoil less easily than vegetable oils. Most commercially fried products are fried in trans fats, alright? So those fish and chips, tortilla, fried chicken, french fries, they're all heavily packed with trans fats, so you need to be careful with those. Trans fats are so bad for you and manufacturers are aware of this that they've been fighting really hard for many years uh, to keep them off the labels. Uh, fortunately in 2003 the FDA in the United States finally passed some regulation and stated that trans fat content should be displayed in the package. This regulation didn't take effect till 2006 so they had three more years to display and sell their stuff. But manufacturers of course were not happy with this decision and they started investing millions and millions of dollars in healthy alternatives, better fats, no, loopholes. They start looking for loopholes in the law and they succeeded. As of today, you can see many products displayed with huge letters in the front, zero trans fats. 
And then you even look on the other side because you can't believe it. You look on the other side and you see trans fats, zero grams. And you're like, yeah. This loophole they found states that if there's less than half a gram per serving of trans fat in any product, they don't have to display it and they can actually call it trans fat free. So before this law came into effect in 2006, what manufacturers did is that they decreased the size of the serving sizes. So if a serving was 20 cookies or chips before, now it was going to be 10. So there's the same amount in this bag of trans fats before and after, but now they can say that there's none of it, which is actually better for them. And remember that many packages contain many servings and that most people, most of the time, eat two or three servings in one sip. So in conclusion, now that zero grams of trans fat doesn't necessarily mean zero grams of trans fat, and remember that there's no safe amount of trans fat you can eat, you have to check your labels and the ingredients. If there's partially hydrogenated oils, which is the best source of trans fats, stay away, avoid. They're lying to you if they say there's no trans fat, okay? Guys, I have to let you go. I hope you found this interesting and I hope you're gonna be reading your labels. Be smart, don't be fooled and stick around. This is lifematters.ws. My name is Carlos Alazar. Have a good day. Bye-bye.